Alright, so this is probably the most spontaneous that I've ever started a video, much less came to film a video. But, I was planning on hiking sometime this weekend and showing all you guys, but I slept in really, really late. I stayed up last night playing a lot of Call of Duty. And, so now it's about 2.35, 2.40 in the afternoon, and I'm back on the Devil's Marble Yard Trail. We did the same trail couple months ago I guess I don't know it feels like it's been forever but I'm back on it today because it's I don't even know what day it is April 28th and we're getting to that perfect time of year that everything's looking really nice like the trees and just how green it is like that's that's what you gotta shoot for if you're ever uh, taking taking photos and you're like a really big photographer in Virginia just wait until it gets to this this green this green state it's beautiful uh, we didn't climb all the way to the top last time so that's what I'm gonna do today but for now this is this is one of the most spontaneous videos that I've ever shot because uh, I had to rush myself to get ready and come here to get started plus I almost got lost on the way here so it's good that I didn't get lost I just noticed that I didn't even properly intro the vlog. I mean, it was that spontaneous of a trip. Like, I didn't even know that I was gonna come to this specific spot until just a few hours ago. But uh, yeah, I didn't properly intro the video, but at this point, I'm already so far on the trail. Uh, you know, I almost tripped just now. You already know what to expect. My niche, I'm looking for my niche. My niche is to be some type of hiking vlogger. I wanna, I wanna feature the most amazing hiking trails that I've been on in my life on this YouTube channel, along with some other day-to-day -day things or day events like water parks, the beach, things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm obviously an amateur for not entering the vlog, but I will get better. A big tip for anyone trying to hike the Devil's Marble Yard. One small hard thing about it is that it's so constantly uphill. It's so hot here now. Now I'm sweating like crazy. Don't get me wrong. There are plenty of other trails that are constantly uphill. For example, uh, the last, it was uh, one of my recent ones with Eric. Um, that one's constantly uphill. This one is also uphill, but on like a difficulty scale, it really depends on how experienced you are. Now I'm not saying that I'm like the most proficient hiker in the world, because as you can see I'm kind of out of breath too and I'm sweating like crazy, mainly because it's hot, but just just know that in Natural Bridge, Virginia for the Devil's Marble Yard, it's, it's, it's a good challenge. The sacrifices that you make to make cool YouTube videos. I just soaked my feet four times in that water just to get that shot of me going across and then coming back, but from the other side of the river, uh, of the creek. Uh, just to get those two shots, I had to soak my feet in that water four times. They're getting more dry now, but I'm just kind of cluing you in on what it takes to do certain shots and I think it's really cool it adds a lot to the video for sure it adds, it adds some character I guess just tripped again that's number two while I've been recording what a nice waterfall 
So on a beautiful day like this, after sweating like crazy and getting a good leg workout, leg day is always necessary, even though it's not always the best, you finally arrive to what looks like an Andre the Giant sized rock climb. You start where I'm at right here, and you're climbing all of these rocks to get to the very top up there. Might not look that huge on camera, but it's going to be a hefty, hefty climb. And we're going to do the whole thing today. I sound like P90X right now. We're going to do the whole thing. Me and Eric didn't do the whole thing. Maybe we'll find his glasses on the way up. If I do, I'm definitely bringing them down. But let's get this started. I'm going to put the camera away in my little cinch bag. And we'll see what the view looks like at the top. It's still really beautiful outside. There's the sun way up there. Mom, you were right. It's time. It's time for a new cinch bag. Just randomly. I had this lizard that I wanted to look at. I have no idea where it went now. But I'm about halfway up. And I had a lizard that was just kind of staring at me. And I wanted to get some footage of it. And then I looked down and this thing's broken. So now I'm just one strapping it. 21 Jump Street style for the rest of this hike. I need a new cinch bag badly. And I'm shaking like crazy for some reason. Wait a minute. Where'd my shirt go? Oh, there it is. Perfect. I just didn't want to get sunburned. I had a feeling that I was going to get burned somehow just because the sun was just beaming on top of me. And uh, so for like the other half of the rock climb, I just hiked it or climbed it with no shirt on, trying to get that summer tan in, you know? But I made it to the top. I mean, as you can see, there's still a little more ways to go if I wanted to, but this is basically the top, okay? Don't, don't judge me for not going all the way up to the top. I mean, look at, like, there's, there's always more to go, I think. But, but I mean, you're going to see right now that this is, you're going to see this view no matter how high you go up. But I just wanted to go this high to, to prove to myself that I could do it. So, uh, without further ado, let's, let's get a better view of Devil's Marble Yard. So, as you can see... I've got that green color that I've always wanted. It's a little brighter in light, in like uh, real life, but uh, I might have to mess around with the settings just to really show you. But honestly, it doesn't really matter which hike I go on. When I get to the top, I always feel like I'm on top of the world. Like, so I'm gonna bring the outro of this vlog down to the ground for just a split second because I've mentioned that I want to start bringing tips for people that haven't traveled to Virginia yet or might want to in the future and uh, once the, they want to know more about the hiking spots and how to go about hiking them and what they can expect so that's what I'm gonna do right now before the outro of this video begins basically when you want to hike the Devil's Marble Yard which is in Natural Bridge Virginia close to like Lexington and Lexington's probably the biggest city in this area that that you could type in and find out about. But the hike is called the Devil's Marble Yard because of that huge rock climb that I just that I just was a part of. And uh, as you can see, I had to I had to pull out some Boy Scout knots and tie this cinch bag to my my chest. But basically. When you're hiking the Devil's Marble Yard, expect for it to be constantly uphill so that you're always getting a workout with your legs. And then when you get to the very top, you can either choose to go about halfway up the rock climb, which is still pretty hefty. And by hefty, I mean kind of difficult. And Or you could go all the way to the top. But my biggest tip with that rock climb at the very end is that you need to really pace yourself. If you don't pace yourself, you risk the chance of any type of injury. That means if you fall or you might twist an ankle or something. Basically just pace yourself. Always be grabbing onto something and uh, you should be just fine. Uh, 
it's like it's like simple life decisions. Uh, if you see an easier way going up the rock climb, do that instead of trying to go the way that you're currently going. So, so those are my tips for the Devil's Marble Yard. I don't think that I necessarily left anything out. Uh, the length of this of this trail is so for me, it took about maybe an hour and a half to get up. This would obviously be easier for uh, people that aren't filming like I am. People that aren't prioritizing the camera rather than the actual hike. So the normal person could probably get it done in about an hour and 15 minutes maybe going up. And then coming down, it's probably gonna take me right now about 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour to get all the way to the bottom. So yeah, those are my tips for this particular hike. I hope that I can start doing them in the future. And let's get into this outro. You really can't beat the feeling of reaching the top of a milestone or a goal that you set for yourself. And in this example, it's a good hike. I've been on this hike one other time, but I feel like I motivated myself and pushed myself a little more this time around just to get a little bit of a, a better view. But, bug on my arm. But, uh, we're at, like I said in the beginning of this vlog, we're at that time of year that everything is looking so much more beautiful. Nature is at its best. The main purpose of these vlogs, these hiking vlogs, is one, for me to give you some tips if you've never really hiked before or if you've hiked but you haven't necessarily been to Virginia. If I'm sure there's plenty, like most of the people that are gonna be watching this video aren't even from Virginia. So I wanna, I wanna through these videos, share my state and some of the best views of my state. Along, I wanna share them with you and really just uh, give you a rundown of how it can go, how, uh, how difficult some of these hikes might be and uh, I hope to continue to do more hikes that I've never personally been on before so that I can share some of my own first experience insight and maybe even travel to other states. I've got some of those plans in mind right now and trying to set those up. But, but until my next video, I hope that you guys enjoyed this view. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this today. I didn't really exactly plan on it, but I'm really glad that I did it. And I can't wait to show you guys. Um, this is a beautiful weekend. Things are really heating up in Virginia. And uh, like I said, nature is, is really getting at its best right now. I might have to go back to Sharp Top. Uh, I haven't been there in a while. So without further ado, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up rating, a like. And if you uh, want to if you want to share your support, um, be sure to comment to let me know to keep doing these. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing them regardless, but your feedback would be really appreciated and motivate me even more. I'm trying to get these, I'm trying to get some videos out before I go uh, and work like two more weeks because I work at a military college and uh, summer starting soon, so I'm gonna be working like crazy to try to get some money from for summer and. So there won't be some videos for a while. So like I said, leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope that you all have a great day. And continue to stay positive and live for the moment. I almost forgot my own uh, outro again. Have a great day, guys.